This is Brian Penny in his home office in California. No, he doesn't have telekinetic power or any kind of supernatural skills. He happens to know a lot about software development, particularly design software from his employer Autodesk. As a research strategist for Autodesk, Brian gets to try out cutting-edge gadgets and devices to see if they could be used by engineers and designers to do their job better, perhaps even adding some playfulness to it. Now, in this case, Brian is trying out a system that lets him use his hand and body motions to control digital 3D models, rendered inside Autodesk Showcase software, included with a number of Autodesk software suites. This brings us to the theme of my upcoming article for Desktop Engineering. How do we use Microsoft Connect-style gesture recognition technology with 3D modeling software? Hi, I'm Kenneth Wong, Senior Editor for Desktop Engineering Magazine. Now let's get back to Brian for a moment. He figured out he could use the Leap Motion Controller, a device the size of a pack of gum selling at Best Buy's for less than $100, to understand hand gestures. Now with that, he developed a plugin for Autodesk Maya, a package used by many digital artists in entertainment and media space, to allow you to add gesture triggered sequences in the software. Now let's leave Brian for a moment and go overseas to 3DV a company emerging from Russia. These folks are looking at taking gesture recognition even a step further down into the handheld and mobile devices running on Android OS system. 3DV has, as you can see, done a lot of work to make its software NewDroid recognize gestures, but its primary challenge would be to make it possible to deploy the same technology on mobile devices with a much more stringent power envelope. Back to Brian from Autodesk again. Here is another prototype showing how you might use the same leap motion controller to do what you previously did using mouse and keyboard, using finger and hand gestures to control a digital assembly. There's no question that using natural motions with your fingers, hand and body is much more ergonomic probably a lot less damaging to the wrists and nerves than standard mouse and keyboard. But Brian pointed out something that you might not have considered. You have to think about the fatigue that might set in if you have to use your body to conduct an extended modeling session or design review session because the gestures that you use are large and take considerable physical effort. Implementing Connect style motion control for design review, rotating assemblies and digital models is relatively easy. It can be done today, in fact. But applying the same method for 3D modeling for building parts from scratch may require some more thinking, creativity, study, and user re-education. After all, we've been using mouse and keyboard to work with our mechanical CAD software for decades. Changing that paradigm to a new one, even a more efficient and better one, will take industry-wide effort. For now, check out my article on gesture recognition and design software in October issue of TE. This is Kenneth Wong, signing off with a mouse and a keyboard.